Welcome back to the channel. Again, if you haven't hit subscribe, please do, because there is tons more golf tips to come to really help you. Yes, they actually help you improve your game. Now, today is gonna be the one of the most important golfing lessons of your career. It is literally how we prepare to hit that golf shot and what we need to do to make sure we hit the best golf shots of our life. Because my word, it's unbelievable how many people don't get these simple little things absolutely right. Because if you don't, it makes this game so much harder. Yes, we can play if we don't quite adhere to it, but my word, it just makes life so much harder. So I am here to help you make your golfing career a lot easier. First up, it is the grip. And my word, I see a heck of a lot of people make this mistake in how they hold it, especially in their left hand. Let's assume you're a right-handed golfer. Obviously, if you're left-handed, reverse up. But it is how we grip that golf club. Now, so many people want to hold in their left hand so they're really, really feeling like they've got a big, hold, big strong hold on that golf club. And the problem is there, they try and put the golf club straight at the bottom of our fingers right there. So look, the problem we've got here is twofold. One, look at the, look at the orientation of our wrist here and our hand, okay? That is not what I call a natural hand position. Unless you go around like this, walking around, walking around the street all day like this, I can't imagine that's a natural hand pattern. So the problem is you grip that golf club in what we call a more sort of what we feel is secure, but in reality, it stops the wrist from working. And the wrists are huge in the golf swing. They transfer the energy built up by the stabilization of the bigger muscles, and then the wrists have to what I call speed the golf club through. In other words, the speed muscles of the wrists and the hands work that golf club and create that speed and therefore the distance. But if we shut off that left wrist, for example, I'll tell you now, we ain't gonna create that speed. So here's how we need to hold it, especially in that left hand. What I want you to do, I want you to get the left hand in a, what I call a natural standing position. So let it just hang, let it just hang nice and limp, not dead, dead straight and tense, not sort of like a wet noodle, just nice and relaxed, just nice and relaxed. And then what we're gonna do, we're just gonna place the handle in the hands there. And what you'll notice here is what's happening is it's going down a little bit more diagonally down the hand. So it's reaching sort of the fleshy part of that little finger, the end of that little finger, to the tip of the index finger down there. And that's how it should be. And then from there, we just wrap the left hand a little bit more around. So we've got what I like to simply call a long left hand down the handle. Whereas here, if we grip it here, like we did before, we shut off the wrist, we've got a very short left hand. Now we're gripping it diagonally down and it's sort of more going down the handle of that golf club, so it's quite long down there. We then just gently pinch the index finger and the thumb together, and you'll notice how the thumb runs down that right side of the handle, not on top, not on the left side, down the right-hand side of that handle. Okay, so we've got a long left hand, and we've got that thumb running down that handle. There's our left hand, and what that ensures is that wrist does the work for us. We've got all this lovely movement, all this lovely circular art movement with that left hand. My word, it, hopefully that's simple. To some of you, that's gonna feel really, really strange. But my word, if you do this, you will open up a ton of avenues, both your wrists and the ability to swing that golf club as we should do as well, because we're letting that wrist do its work. Now we can't play golf, but we can play golf one-handed. If we're lucky enough to have two hands, we place the right hand. So again, I don't mind whether it's an overlap, an interlock, a 10 finger grip, as long as that right hand is covering that left thumb on top. As long as that right hand is covering that left thumb on top. So again, we don't wanna see it underneath because again, we won't be able to use the wrist at all. Okay, that right hand will be really stuck underneath that golf club. So we're not able to use the wrist as it was designed to. So we've got to make sure that right hand's a lot more on top of that handle of that golf club. And there we go. So a long left hand, the right hand on top, and we've got full access to making sure we can use those wrists, but also we've got more chance of keeping that club 
nice and square throughout. Whereas if we've got the hand, left hand too far underneath and the right hand too far underneath, my word, that can create all sorts of mayhem with that club face. So we've just got no control over that golf ball. Secondly, the setup. And again, there's a number of different ways because I've seen good players do this. I've seen really good players doing this. I've seen good players have that spine really straight. I've seen good players with a lot of knee flex. I've seen good players with less knee flex. There are a number of ways doing it, but there are better ways of doing it. And for me, there's again, one real fundamental that a lot of people get really, really wrong when it comes to the setup, because the setup hugely dictates where that golf club is going, both on the way back and on the way down. So if we again, we stick to this rule, keep it nice and simple as we like to, then it makes it a lot, lot easier. And it's this. Now golf is played with the ball on the ground. I keep preaching this, it's obvious. The ball's on the ground. So what we try and do as a commonsensical adult human being is we try and get low to the ground. In other words, we end up trying to sit down to that golf ball. Okay, we end up trying to get down to that golf ball in that way. But the problem here is we lose a massive element of what we need to achieve in that setup. And that is this, the tilt. We lose the tilt. We have to feel like we're tilting from the pelvis as opposed to flexing our knees down. Because again, it makes it really difficult when our spine is not tilting down. It's really difficult to get that club down to the ground where it should be. Usually it's gonna, we're gonna catch a ton of earth before or just as bad, no ground at all. So what I want you to try and do here is one thing. I want you to feel when you set up to that golf ball, I want you to feel like your hamstrings are stretching. Because what you'll feel then, we're not trying to stand up, don't get me wrong, because you don't feel a hamstring stretch there, do you? Okay, you'll feel a touch of a pull, especially if you've got really tight hamstrings. But overall, we need to feel like those hamstrings are really stretching out because you'll notice the coccyx, the bum area here, is pushing back up and out now. And then just from there, it's a gentle knee flex. Because look at what that hamstring stretch has done to our spine. It's tilted it over the ball which makes it a lot easier to swing that club on the geometry that it was designed for, as opposed to here. I'm obviously exaggerating, but that's what it can do. That's the influence that setup makes. So we need to feel like those hamstrings are just nicely stretching a tiny bit of knee flex just to interact with the ground. And we're, hey presto, we're already in that beautiful setup. So get those hamstrings stretching. And thirdly, the swing. Now there is a ton of elements to the swing itself. There's a huge amount, amount of elements to the swing. There's a takeaway, there's a top of the swing, there's the halfway down, there's impact, there's the follow through. And then we've got all those in between, all those co-subjects in between where we move. We've got to move the body to move the golf club in position. But again, I like to keep things as simple as we possibly can do. And this is what I would suggest, especially if you're starting out in your golfing journey, this is what I would suggest. This is a golf swing for us. So what I want you to do with that lovely grip that we've taught you, with that lovely setup that we've taught you as well, what I want you to try and do is feel the, the arms nice and loose, but feel those elbows close to our sides. Okay, so feel those elbows, not dead tight, don't want those dead tight. I want just nice and loose. So we're holding the golf club firmly, but just nice and loose overall in the wrists and the elbows. Keep those elbows close to us. And what I want you to feel is just a rotation back and a rotation through, feeling like those elbows are maintaining their distance roughly, approximately, to our sides. And all we're doing is rotating around in a circle. All we're doing is rotating back and around in a circle. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the golf swing. That is the golf swing. It's a rotation back, it's a rotation through with the arms just being the connectors to our action. They're just the connectors. The body moves the golf club and the golf club and the arms just go along for the ride. Now, obviously, we're not just gonna swing it like this. We're not just gonna swing it like this because the ball won't go very far. So we get the same feeling now. We've got the, the connection between the arms and the body. So what we should do now is just gently and slowly separate them just a little bit more. Look at that gap now between the arms and the body, but they're moving at relatively 
the same sort of speed. And then we can really just wind up. You notice how I'm not taking it back too long. I'm just turning the body back and through. Elbows relatively close, but not tense and tight. And I'm just swinging that golf club around in a circle. Okay, so keeping those elbows nice and close together and just rotating around in a circle. And that's the feeling. It's simple, it really is that simple. It really is. If we get the grip right and we get the setup right and we allow the body to work that golf club around ourselves, wow, this game becomes mega, mega easy. Keep it nice and simple, really, really simple. Follow those tips, follow those pieces of advice and you can't go far wrong.